Okay, another episode. Oh my gosh, it's been because of the lag. I haven't been able to like fully like I, like I tried to log into the game early morning like my usual, but then for some reason it was just taking forever to load anything, so it just stopped. I actually didn't save anything. I don't. Okay, you know I'm rambling. Let's just jump right into whoever the new character for this uh, update because she is delayed. She was not, she came in like a week after, and here she is finally, uh, Mayor Bellwether. Und okay, so hang on, the quote, <clears throat> underst- uh, Okay, s s uh, that, 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 never mind, I can't read, sorry. I, I know what it says now, but I'm, it's too late, the moment's gone. Wake up, sheeple. Mayor Bellwether's- sheeple. Mayor Bellwether's term begins now. She keeps her allies healthy and her enemies scrambling with her signature dart gun. Now, oh wow, I, I've never actually scrolled down to see the crazy amount of collections characters can be in. Still waiting for Gazelle, to, because I, uh, sorry, Giselle, Gazelle, Giselle, I don't know. Either way, I'm still waiting for her to be a character in uh, 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 Disney Heroes, because I know she's referenced a lot in a lot of the friend campaigns, so I'm just waiting for her to finally come to the game. So let's just run into it. Passive. Instead of a basic, instead of basic attacking, Mayor Bellwether points to the ally hero with the lowest percent HP. That ally heals five percent of their max HP and gains fifty percent attack and movement speed for t for one only one second. Huh. Not sure how useful that's going to be, but considering you can, because she can't shoot herself, so I assume when she's on her own, she literally can't do anything. Mayor Bellwether darts the enemy. Okay, active. Mayor Bellwether darts the enemy with the highest basic damage and charms them for five seconds. This charm cannot be dodged or evaded, and it doesn't have a chance to fail. So that's always good. A guaranteed charm is always good. While charmed, the enemy gains berserk, and then gains. Okay, gains berserk basic damage and scares the next enemy for five seconds. If Mayor Bellwether has no allies left. She will use her basic attack on herself. Oh no, never mind. There it is. She said it. There he goes. So she can just use it whenever. How does that look actually? If she shoots herself, darts the enemy with the highest spacing. Okay, just just check, just reading over to make sure I didn't miss anything. But still, that's very. I like this this how her skill because it's based because she's shooting people with the night howlers or the, that flower that I can't pro I can't pronounce the actual name. The night howlers make things go crazy. So yeah, I, I like her. I like how they incorporate that as a part of her skill. Mayor Bellwether darts the ally with the most basic damage, granting them berserk, 10% increased skill power and basic damage, and 25% increase in attack and movement speed. This skill has a chance to fail on allies above the certain level. There it is. Okay, and this, but it does last for 10 seconds. Unfortunately, it does have a chance to fail, so that is not very good. Mayor Bellwether stares down the enemy team, scaring and sapping the, all of them for 5 seconds. Enemies are also dealt fantastic damage per second for 10 seconds. For each enemy she scares with this skill, Mayor Bellwether and allies gain energy. Is that really scary though? I mean, you look at the sheep, even if she's making that face, are you really going to be scared? I don't, I don't really think so. The Art of Dart Mayor Bellwether can now dart an additional target for both Foe Frenzy and Ally Ambush. Allies darted by Ally Ambush are cleansed and healed for HP. Ally Ambush, yeah, okay, that's this one that has a chance to fail. So that's double the, that, that at, least, at least one of them could get through, I guess. And bad sheep. Foe Frenzy now deals 20% of the enemy's max HP as normal damage after the charm wears off or is removed. Allies darted by Ally Ambush now take 25% reduced damage for 10 seconds. For each enemy, Mayor Bellwether scares with not amused. She and her allies heal. And then what's this? This is AG. You know, I'm just going to, I'm not going to guess. I'm just going to go straight to, oh, Agent P. You're friends with Agent P for some reason. I mean, Demona makes sense. She's bad, but Agent P, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Actually, no, I won't find out. I won't be doing the campaign for you, will I? Uh, while Agent P... While you're... Oh, did Agent P arrest you or something? Is that what's going on here? Allies that Mayor Bellwether darts with ally ambush gain reflect for... Okay. Reflect is always good. What's the other one? When enemy is when an enemy is charmed by any source, Mayor Bellwether and the ally with the least percent HP 
heal for 5% of their max HP. I don't know. I think this is better because that that because if you you can just dart an ally and if it actually works you gain reflect. That's that's like way better. Just having reflect is better than like whatever Demona had. And next, we get to see the battle badge. Charms apply to two enemies and you gain a team your whole team gets shielded. Okay, that that's uh, useful, I guess. As for items, the patch, what does your patch do? Buffs and heals from this hero also grant 60% movement and attack speed for 8 seconds. This can happen to each hero once every 10 seconds. Okay, that means your first basic attack will basically make them super sane and last for like 10 seconds. 11 seconds over 10 seconds or does it stack? I don't know. Either way, uh yeah, that, that's basically it for Bellwether. I don't think I can actually show how you actually work in combat, do I? Can I? No, you're, you're not in the sparring chat, are you? No, nope, you're not here. Either way, I, I guess that's about it. You're in the collection, though, right? Of, of course you're in the collection. Actually, I don't even... Can I check the collection? No, I, I didn't. I never finished. Again, this... Man, this video's a mess. I'm just rambling on and not even having a clue of what I'm saying. Oh, that's talking about the perks. Uh... That's another ray thing. Do I have actually do I have enough to level up to unlock another patch? I don't think I can level up any of these patches if I wanted to. Yeah, I have enough to to like Yeah, your hang on, let me read that. Your hero is already max patch level. Please try leveling another hero. The patch is a bit confusing, but I think the way it works is you have to you can't just power level patch one hero. You have to give patch levels to a bunch of heroes so i think i'm gonna do Fredneck. I, it really doesn't matter to me because the patch really hasn't made too much i know i think gogo had a good one or was a honey lemon basic attacks from this hero apply blind to enemies struck for six sec yeah yeah let, let's do that one unlock unfortunately no fancy animation for it but yeah still multiplier times 1.01 .01. So do I have to like level up everyone who has an available patch in order to unlock more patch levels? Is that it? Because it's it's labeled blue. You know what? I don't know. It's it's a it's a con I don't really understand how the patch works just yet. Does it even go into like base stats or something? Uh, yeah, that's a lot of numbers. I'm not even gonna bother <laughs> trying to figure that out. Okay, but thanks for watching, guys. I really have nothing else to say in this video. So, oh, free diamond crate. Gimme. Sorry, this one was a little poorly structured. I just, uh, this was a last minute thing. I, I, I just realized that Bellwether was finally out. I thought it was going to be like tomorrow she would be available. But nope, it's today. I mean, actually, you're watching this Wednesday, so I guess it is today she's available. But tomorrow, the day you're watching it is, okay, you know what? It's a mess. Goodbye, everyone, before I embarrass myself any further.